In recent years, the Netherlands has been alarmed on several occasions by food-related incidents. The Dutch Safety Board has previously investigated salmonella in smoked salmon and risks in the meat supply chain. The discovery of the pesticide fipronil in eggs in summer 2017 prompted the board to take a broader look at emerging food safety risks in the Netherlands. It was shown that the food sector mainly focuses on known risks that have arisen in the past. Changing circumstances can cause risks to occur in a different guise or become more severe. It is important to identify such emerging risks properly and in good time. However, in the Netherlands, there is no structured approach to detecting and assessing these risks. This can result in people becoming ill unnecessarily. The Dutch Safety Board has investigated a number of examples of emerging food safety risks. In the Fipronel incident, it was shown that the use of illegal substances against red mites in laying hens was not recognized as a risk, despite the fact that this had occurred previously. Signals that Fipronil was being used were not properly picked up and assessed. In consequence, action was taken too late. Many millions of eggs were withdrawn from the market and there was disquiet about the safety of eggs. Another example is the rise in hepatitis E infections from pigs and pork. This has been identified as an emerging risk, but as with Q fever in goats, it appears to be difficult to get a good grasp of the problem. Signals indicating that the risks of pathogens on fruit and vegetables might be greater than previously thought are not being properly picked up and assessed. The estimate of the proportion of people who got sick due to pathogens on fruit and vegetables is much higher in the US than it is in the Netherlands. However, there has been no scientific investigation to try to explain this discrepancy. As a result, the actual risk of getting sick from eating fruit and vegetables is still unclear. It is increasingly important to investigate this thoroughly because ever more people are eating fruit and vegetables raw, which means that pathogens are not killed. Investigations show that the food that has made people ill is rarely identified. People often fail to realize that it was food that caused their illness and they put it down to stomach flu, for example. Not everyone goes to the doctors and in many cases, no laboratory analyses are done. Ultimately, the food that caused their illness is identified in only a very small proportion of people who fall ill. This makes it extremely difficult to take measures at the source in order to halt infection. It also makes it hard to obtain a clear picture of the risks and ascertain whether food safety is sufficiently guaranteed. A more robust food safety system is essential so as to estimate risks properly in advance and intervene in good time. When incidents actually occur, it is important for signals to be recognized and acted on more rapidly. Therefore, the Dutch Safety Board recommends that the Minister of Health, Welfare and Sport set up an authoritative unit to identify emerging food safety risks systematically. The Minister for Medical Care and Sport should ensure that reports are followed up as quickly as possible. Oh, <laughs>